Hey everybody, Jed here with Skook Marts, and today I wanted to show you what we came up with for our credits. So let's just start off by showing, showing it in action. Bam. So it's, it's pretty simple. Um, I have a single script here that I wrote, and then we have uh, Unity's UI system with a simple text component. And yeah, that's basically it. What we have, the credits, um, is actually reading from a CSV file. So the CSV file is right here, and this is something that we actually export um, directly from uh, spreadsheet. We just take the spreadsheet, we can have all of our credits in there, we can rearrange them, edit them, whatever, and then whenever uh, we want to update the credits within the game, we just export the credits um, as a CSV file, we toss it into Unity, and then it just works, it just updates it. So, uh, let's look at the credits while it's playing. So, you'll notice that this text component uh, is actually a fixed height, and what the script does is it takes this text component, it moves it upwards on the y-axis um, to a certain, well, actually, it's just constantly moving it upward, but then at a certain height, the um, this text component snaps back down, and then at that exact frame when it snaps back down, it updates the actual text within this component. So it removes the top line and adds a line to the bottom, and... Uh, it's a little hard to see because we actually have a mask here. So if I take this mask and pull this up, so you can see the top of it, you'll actually notice that the lines are just disappearing, which is also something that you could do. You don't necessarily have to have a mask here. This is actually what we had initially, where it was just falling off like this, but we just decided to put a mask. Um, but that's essentially it. Let's go take a quick peek at the code. Um, this is pretty simple. This uh, is about 100 lines. So I'll give you a brief little overview of what this does. So at the very beginning, what we want to do is we're just going to take, well, we're, we're going to read that um, CSV file and we're going to take all those different lines and columns and we're going to put it in um, a jagged array and then the actual meat of this little program is down here in update. So if we're gonna, if we're supposed to be updating, if we're supposed to be playing, then we constantly move this text component upward, and then at specific um, kind of distances, then we snap this text component back down. And then at that frame where it snaps back down, then we go ahead and update the text that is on that text component, which is down here. So essentially what this does is this builds, this builds text with um, a string builder. And a string builder is just kind of an efficient way of building strings without a bunch of garbage collection. Um, but I won't get into this too much, but essentially it builds, here, let's go over here. It builds the string so that it fills in, so if this is our screen, or this is our, our text component, <clears throat> the this code, it starts at the bottom and it just adds a line and it keeps adding lines until it gets to the very top. Once it gets to the top, then it just, it keeps, it takes, removes this one, and then it adds another one at the bottom, and it keeps doing that until it gets to the end. At the very beginning, what we have is the, um, the text anchoring of this component is actually at the bottom. So as you add lines to this, um, to this text object, they just print, they print upward. Okay. Once this is filled, once the screen is 100% filled with text, then we actually switch the the 
alignment, I should say, of the text so that the alignment is actually at the top. And then once we get all the way to the bottom of all the credits, then the credits will start. Now, as we remove the credits, then um, these will all drift upward and then we just remove the top one, they drift up, remove the top one, they go up again, remove the top one until they, until there's basically no more credits on screen. So that's essentially what this does. It takes the lines. Um, we have some stuff here for figuring out uh, what line we're on and how many rows should be shown. Um, and then we essentially build that into this string builder and then we toss that out to the text. Um, which is right here. So that's essentially it. It's pretty simple. Um, it's nice though, because you can change, obviously you can change the scroll speed so we can have this go a lot faster. Um, actually, let's just go ahead and see at the very end here, it'll keep scrolling. And at the end, it just ends. Perfect. Um, then we can change the max line. So how many lines we want on screen. We just chose 30. Uh, so I'm actually going to export uh, this scene with the script and these UI elements uh, as a Unity package. And I'll just link it down in the description. So if you're working on a game uh, that needs credits or you just want to dissect this script and figure out a better way to do it, uh, definitely feel free. Um, so, I think that's it. A little brief overview of how we got the credits working in our game. If you have any questions, definitely uh, feel free to put them down in the comments. Um, and we are getting close to um, finishing up this game. So if you like uh, our game and want to see more and everything, please uh, subscribe to our channel. And if you would, if you could hop over to Steam and give us a wish list, that would be awesome.